ever-changing world moves with life. It ebbs and flows with energy, and forces shape our planet. Movement and dynamic changes are important themes for our bodies, and a diversity of systems lend their efforts to these ends. The musculoskeletal system, while thought of as a series of immutable bones and pulling muscles, is actually a collective of elements that enable the body to move or remain still, use, sequester, or release minerals, protect delicate organs, produce blood cells, and generate the necessary heat energy to fuel the endergonic physiological reactions within. The musculoskeletal system is best conceptualized in three parts. The bones and supportive cartilages comprising the skeleton, the joints that facilitate movement, and the skeletal muscles creating the forces to either propel or stabilize the body. Bone cells secrete, ossify, and resorb bone matrix functioning throughout life. Complex ossification processes facilitate bone growth in juveniles and young adults, while loss of bone density typically characterizes aging individuals. There are numerous types and classifications of joints, but most joints that people think of are synovial joints. Synovial joints are composed of bone, cartilage, a capsule, tendons, ligaments, and space to facilitate the movements of the body. Synovial fluid is located within this joint space and its viscosity level can affect an individual's ability to perform smooth movements. Just as bones can weaken over time, joint components are susceptible to aging processes, particularly the cartilaginous structures. Historically, there are three types of muscular tissue, cardiac, smooth, and skeletal, which comprises the lion's share of our muscles. To directly affect motion, a muscle must cross a joint attaching to structures, typically bone or other muscles, on either side. Muscles receive their orders from the nervous system and may either work consciously or subconsciously. Combining the structures and functions of these systems, one can understand the complexity of the musculoskeletal system, as well as why this anatomical system is important to many healthcare, academic, and creative art disciplines.